Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, in this commentary, I'm not really going to talk about the gameplay too much, but I, I did get it. I did not choke, but that's it. I'm pretty sure this is UMG 4v4, the road to playoffs, uh, or it was a scrim, either, either one. But um, anyways, into the commentary. Uh, I want to do another how I came into competitive, but more detailed. Uh, I, I listened to the the other one. But, uh, I listened to the other one, and, uh, it wasn't very detailed. I missed out a lot of facts and a lot of stuff. I'm gonna kind of rush through this one a little bit, try to get everything in. But, uh, I, I might take my time, honestly, make a part two. But, um, yeah, here we go. So, uh, basically, it all started with my dad. Um, he was the one that really got me into games and all that stuff. He is the one that bought all the game systems and all the game counts and game consoles and all the games to go with the console um, I think my first ever like kind of game I played was Mario Kart and that was when I was maybe like six or seven and, uh, that was on GameCube uh, GameCube was so fun to me it was the best thing ever until I'm don't get me wrong on this uh, I'm not too sure it was a long time ago maybe about six years ago it was either the PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 uh, my first shooter ever was Killzone. Um, I'm not sure what system. It was pretty sure it was the first Killzone. May, it might have been Killzone 2. But uh, Killzone, it was so fun to me. I loved that game to death. Like that would that had to be like my all-time favorite game. It was so fun. I used to play with my brother all the time and his friends online. And uh, to me, just like okay, I can kill things. This is fun, you know. Uh, every every little boy's dream is to kill things and have fun with it. But um, honestly, if you were to ask me when I was younger, uh, if if you were to ask me maybe a couple years ago if competitive was something I was gonna do, I'd probably I'd, I'd honestly say no. Uh, I probably didn't even know what that was at the time. I mean, I knew what it was. I knew what competitive was. It wasn't something I was interested in. It wasn't something. See me when I played games. It was just having fun. Like I love to have fun. Uh, that's probably why um, I'm such a jokester. Because I loved having fun with my friends, and we we had our own crew. Um, I'll get I'll get into that um, on my way to where I am today. This is basically where where I very started, and all the details and all that stuff from where I am today. Uh, this this is what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be like two parts, so bear with me here. Um, anyways, uh, Killzone was so fun to me. Uh, me and my brother used to play split screen all the time, or me and my dad used to play split split screen all the time, where my dad and my brother and I'd watch. It was just it was the best. Uh, we used to play story mode and all the time. We had that trio thing, you know what I mean? But um, anyways, it was. It was just the best, honestly. Uh, those those are just memories and moments I will never forget. It just, it just stuck with me of us playing Killzone. And, uh, never forget ISA, man. That was those were my favorites, and their okay. main guns were just so dope. Uh, dope, man. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry if I screwed in your ear. But um, anyways, we started from there, and um, kind of worked up my way, and I kind of. Uh, what's it called? Um, earned my way up to having me be able to sign in on my own account and not having, like, I became more trustworthy basically with uh, taking my own responsibility with games and having a system and stuff like that. And uh, I, I played Killzone. I played my heart out of it. And uh, me and my brother just grinded that game daily, and day in, day out. And my gamer tag back then. Uh, was Scrappy Doo like four two three or something? My brother's gamer tag was Scooby Doo like four two four or something. I, it was it was really identical. Uh, my me and my brother are really close. Uh, my younger older brother. Like I don't know if that makes sense. You should have watched my other video. If that makes sense to you, but um. I don't know. Those were fun times. Then uh, I eventually got a PS3 and um. You know, it's really started from the PS3. Uh, me and my friend I've known since kindergarten. We used to play every day on Grand Theft Auto 4, Assassin's Creed, 
uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, um, Mono for, I don't think we played together in Mono for 3. No, Mono for 3 was after Black Ops 1. I remember. I remember. I remember. And, um, I don't know, man. It, it was just really fun time. I think that's where me and my friend, like, really got our crew, our little clique, our, our, uh, our squad, um, if that makes any sense, like, our, our little group. Um, we were the best. It was, it was me, uh, my friend I've known since kindergarten that I still talk to today. He's one of my bestest friends. Uh, <clears throat> as gay as that might sound to you guys, if that sounds gay at all, uh, deal with it, man. Um, uh, my friend TJ, uh, Lamont, um, Tremaine, and Old Dog. Uh, th those were their gamer tags, believe it or not. Uh, kind of random, if you ask me. Mine? Alright, I'm gonna tell y'all my PS3 gamer tag. Don't laugh at me in the comments, but mine was Bloody Boy 1999. Uh, that was that was my gamer tag, my PlayStation 3 gamer tag. I went from Scrappy Doo 423 to Bloody Boy 1999. Hey! Those are pretty, those are pretty OG names, if you ask me. But um, I don't know, man. I, I dig those names. You feel me? But um, anyways, uh, basically we were our own little squad and little clique and stuff like that. We eventually got O Dog's tryhard friend Jailbrook, and uh, some of the people that I know today know who he is. Uh, he's one of the biggest tryhards in pubs ever uh he was a bigger try hard than me and i used to go pretty try hard back in uh, the old call of duty games and um believe it or not and uh i don't know i'm, pr I'm kind of like skipping through a little bit uh maybe going back and forth and stuff like that i'm sorry for that but i'm just trying to like play it back from the sequence <clears throat> and um as you guys may not know i was a, a, a competitive sniper in black ops 1 um that's why I love sniping, and that's why you see so many sniper clips in my montages today, because I just love sniping. Uh, so it was the thing that I had a passion for was sniping, because I'm good at it, man. Like, I was, I was so good in Black Ops 1 with Sniper, man, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? 1v1 me, homie, 1v1 me, but, um, nah, but, uh, I'm not even halfway done with this. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it, by the way. We're seven minutes in. This video is ten minutes. I think this is going to be a two-parter, maybe a three-parter. You guys are in for a treat, man. you going to get, like, four videos this whole consistent week. And it's going to be great for you guys, and it's going to suck for me. But, um, anyways, we were, we were actually, like, we were pretty dominant, in my opinion. Our favorite game mode was definitely Search. Uh, that's... I think that's where every, ma mainly like every competitive pro player you see, you see today, or top AM team or top amateur players you see today, always started for search and always love search. S search is an OG game mode and it'll always be around and hopefully it's around for advanced warfare too and competitive scene. Uh, hopefully it is. I'm praying it is. I'm pretty sure it will be, but I don't know why they take out a really popular game mode though, but. That's kind of where we all started. I love doing trick shots and 360s off the map on Search and Joy. It, my, 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 my most favorite memory, probably in Black Ops 1, was uh, we'd always go for random tomahawks in uh, Black Ops 1 on Search and Joy. Um, I think I'm the only one out of my whole like little uh, group that hit a random tomahawk on every single map in the game. Uh, including DLC maps, and, uh, it's crazy. That's like, that's like a milestone for me, man. Like when I got that, I figured it out. Crisis was my very, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure you guys remember Crisis, that map that no one wanted to play. Just that awkward, that one awkward map that no one likes, and no one wants to play except that one awkward dude that sits alone in a bathroom and eats his lunch when it's lunchtime. Except that dude, he likes that map. That's the type of dude to like that map. Yeah, yeah, I'm calling you out, Flair, bitch. Nah. Losing B. Nah, but um, uh, Crisis, Crisis was my last map. So you get a random tomahawk in, but um, I don't know. I had a really a lot of good memories back back in the day. 
Hopefully those memories will stick to me. My computer just turned off. That was weird. Hope it's still recording. Um, I don't think it's still recording. But anyways, I'll see you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next part. Uh, been your boy. I'll be back with a brand new commentary. Well, two-parter. And see ya. Mission accomplished.